Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this uh, artwork might look familiar. The gentleman can't get his to work. He thinks he's doing something wrong off my video from the other day, but I didn't have his file. This is the file. I, I made a file from a picture of his file. So if you go up to object and go to group and ungroup and use the boundary tool like I did, it doesn't work. So let's back completely up. So that's not his mistake. Now, right off the bat, I think it'd be, you'd be a lot better off to have your nudge distance at zero, zero. We're gonna change this to like 13 inches. And I'm gonna make a duplicate of your drawing. Well, ungrouped it. Let me back up here a little bit. Get it back to whole. Okay. We'll have to, and when you back up, you actually change that back. We're gonna make the nudge distance 15 inches. We're gonna control D and make a duplicate. And here's what I did. This is your drawing. This is your drawing as a duplicate. But we're gonna take your drawing, go to object, or go to a bitmap and convert it to a bitmap, convert it to black and white because it's black and white. Then we're gonna trace the bitmap and center trace or outline trace clip art. And this is gonna take just a second. Uh, there's a lot of details in this and you don't have to use the trace, but the trace is gonna be just as good as the original in this case. Sometimes it won't be, so this is really why I'm making a video is because you can nudge that over and there is your new trace. And if we get rid of the bitmap and move this over, I don't think you can tell the difference. I mean, I think it's equally as sharp. You know, if you look at that versus that, so you could use the bitmap, but we're not going to because I'm going to show you how to get the outline from here. So now we're going to go to object and group and ungroup and then use the boundary tool. And voila, there's our boundary. Now you're using maybe, sometimes I get files, I get their settings, maybe not. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to turn it to see the CMYK. I'm going to turn it to RGB. Now, if you're a printer, don't worry about setting these back. But then we're going to set it to a hairline. Now you have a cut line. And because we use the nudge tool, we can nudge it right back on top of your artwork. So now you have your artwork with a cut line around it. Now every case is different, so that might not work in every scenario. But it worked this time. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.